Today's topic about genetic code. We have seen about replication and transcription, but before translation, you have to understand about genetic codon. So, an amino acid is specified by three consecutive bases, that is nitrogen bases, called as a codon. A triplet sequence of nucleotide on the mRNA is the codon. So, genes are present over DNA, but what are the message or information pass on to the mRNA in a triplet nitrogenous base that is called a genetic codon and that is codon for each amino acid. Since there are four different nitrogen bases present in the RNA, they can generate 64 different codons that we will look in next slide or code words by permutation or combination. Simple that adenine, guanine, cytosine and uracil are present over the mRNA and that is making 64 different codons. Nirenberg was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1968 for deciphering the genetic code. There are 31 tRNA species carrying 20 amino acid which translate 61 codon. So there is a 64 different codon is possible with the help of 4 nitrogen bases over the mRNA but actually 20 amino acid is coded with the help of 61. Why that 3 is not present that also we will look in next slide. The cistron is the coding unit of an mRNA and has the information for the synthesis of a polypeptide chain. Now eukaryotic mRNA are monocystronic whereas prokaryotic mRNA are polycystonic in nature. So exactly how this genetic codon is made up. So we have seen that there is a triplet codon. Now how this triplet codon is generated? First you have to understand about the first letter. So first letter that is U, C, A, U, C, A and G. Now second letter that is also that four nitrogenous base that is U, C, A, G. Third letter that is also four nitrogenous base. Suppose in this first chamber there is a first letter is taken, second letter is taken and third letter is taken and these three combine making a U, U, U and U, U, C. So if you are taking third letter as a C. So these two are coding for the phenyl alanine. Same way there are so many total 64 genetic codon can be generated and that is coding for the different 20 amino acid. Now we have seen, seen that 61 genetic codon which is for the amino acid. Why that 61? So here that 3 are working as a stop codon but before stop codon we will look that initiator codon that is common for all starting point of the translation mostly AUG that is working as a initiation codon for the translation process and that is mostly coding for the methionine amino acid now next that is UAA UAG that is working as a stop codon and UGA that is also working as a stop codon now key features or the main features of genetic codon are described here they are mostly triplet codon non overlapping non punctuated they are specificity so it is called unambiguous in nature universal degeneracy is also observed in this genetic codon there are particular initiator codon some particular terminator codon and lastly most important features of this genetic codon that is wobbling phenomena so each each one in detail we will look triplet codon each codons are on the mrna each codon is a consecutive sequence of three nitrogen bases on the mrna simple we have seen that u u u codes for the phenyl alanine these all genetic codon are the universal means the codons are the same for the same amino acid in all species same for the elephant and same for the e coli and also same for the human beings the genetic code has been highly preserved during evolution so they are called as a universal now this genetic codon also showing degeneracy 61 codons represent 20 amino acid so what happened one amino acid has more than one codon for example serine has six codon while glycine has four codons this is called degeneracy of the genetic codon in general if the amino acid has more than one genetic codon the first two bases in the codon will be the same previously we have seen that u u u and u u c in that both are coding for the phenyl alanine 
but u u that is common so only the third one is different this reduces the effect of the mutation and that is advantageous unambiguous in nature though the codons are degenerate they are unambiguous or without any doubtful meaning simple that one codon stand only for the one amino acid simple that u u u for the phenylalanine then it will code for only phenylalanine it will not code for any alanine or glycine amino acid non overlapping the codes are consecutive therefore the starting point is extremely important the codon are read one after another in a continuous manner like aug cau gau gca etc means suppose mrna is read once it is started then it will read continuous that is not like initial three genetic codon will be read fourth one is not read then fifth one will be read and amino acid will be added there is a continue means non overlapping type of genetic codon non punctuate there is a no punctuation in between the codons it is consecutive or continuous reading over the mrna wobbling phenomena the reduced stringency between the third basis of the codon and the complementary nucleotide in the anticodon is called as a wobbling phenomena simply you have seen that degeneracy same way it is also observing wobbling phenomena the pairing of codon and anticodon can wobble at the third letter so third codon genetic codon the third letter will be changed but there are more chances of common type of amino acid and that is also showing a wobbling phenomena so here explain for example ggu ggc and gga are the codon for the glycine all three will pair with the anticodon g opposite complementary cc so and third one that is i for the inosine acid and all these three will code for the glycine trna the degeneracy of genetic codon and wobbling phenomena means third nitrogen base is changed but it is not creating any change for the amino acid adding so together will reduce the effect of the mutation lastly that terminator codon there are three codons which do not code for any particular amino acid they are called as nonsense codons more correctly term as a punctuator codon or terminator codon they put full stop to the protein synthesis these three codons are uaa uag and uga circumstances uga is a stop codon but in special circumstances it codes for the selenocysteine the 21st amino acid now one more that is initiator codon in most of the cases aug act as a initiator codon also that act as a codon for methionine in a few proteins gug may be the initiator codon a mature functional mrna read to be translated as the coding region flanked by the utr that is untranslated region on either side that is 5 prime and 3 prime here 5 prime capping and 3 prime poly a tail which not be translated so mitochondria have a different codons the protein synthesizing memory of mitochondria is distinct from that in the cytoplasm you are also knowing that dna of mitochondria is also differ they are the only there are only about 22 trna in mitochondria but there are 31 trna species in cytoplasm so that difference 22 and 31 you have to remember now some exception to the genetic codon now codon which is translated in cytoplasm and translated in mitochondria we have seen that uga that is terminator codon but it will code for the tryptophan inside the mitochondria aga that will translate as a arginine in the cytoplasm but it will be work as a terminator in a mitochondria same way agg that will also work as a arginine for the cytoplasm while it will work as a terminator in a mitochondria and interesting is that iua will work as a isoleucine or in the cytoplasm and as a methionine for the mitochondria so that's all about the key features of the genetic codon in our body